<sighs> Hello and greetings, everybody. So, we have another update. Yeah, so, yesterday I went to the Greater uh, Indoor Garage Sale, where <laughs> the Front Grounds basically does... Uh, like two days worth of garage sailing and whatnot. I only went for uh, yesterday. But you hear that? I got some goodies. Yeah, so let's find out what we got this time right here on the media files. <clears throat> All right, so uh, where to start off? Well, we got some books, we got uh, some few video games, and of course, we got. Some movies and a TV show, yeah. Um, so first off, uh, well, they're just right here. Uh, first off, I got most of these DVDs for like a dollar. I kid you not. Um, so first off, we have a great classic war movie uh, from 1962. Um, sorry, another the Gregory Peck. This one was one of my favorites. Um, I used to have it, and then I saw that there was a two disc edition. I found the two-disc edition. Yeah, The Guns of Never Road. If you've never watched this, check it out. It is awesome. <clears throat> All right, then up next, uh, this was a dollar. I was kind of surprised. Uh, I've never actually seen this movie. I mean, obviously, you know, I know what the ride is, but I will never write it. But <laughs> uh, So from Disney, we have uh, Steve Gutenberg and Kirsten Dunst in The Tower of Terror. Yeah, one dollar, mind you. That's awesome. Uh, so then up next, this was only two bucks. Uh, TV series that uh, I've been wanting to check out for a while. Vaguely remember it when it was on, but not that. You know, I'm like, eh, okay. Uh, so here we have. I got this. My kid, you not for two dollars. We have the complete series of the Flash. Yeah, starring uh, John Wesley Ship as, of course, Barry Allen. And also co-starring Mark Hamill as the Trickster. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, it's all in there. So, that's awesome. Uh, let's see. Then up next, we have, um, well, some more movies. Yeah, I guess we'll get all the movies out of the way first. Uh, first up, we have an anime to add to the collection. Uh, now, I have the first, uh, technically, I guess, people back in the day thought that this was kind of a sequel to this movie. Uh, but it's really not. It's just kind of its own thing, from what I understand. Uh, but, uh, here we have, uh, Ninja Resurrection. Yeah, of course, I remember, uh, I always thought that this was, like, the sequel to Ninja Scroll way back in the day. And, uh, it kind of somewhat is, but it's kind of not, I guess. I really don't know. But, hey, I'm not going to complain. It was in pretty decent shape for what it was. Got this for two bucks. So, there we go. Uh, then up next, we have a uh, section, uh, something to add to the music collection. Yeah, of course, you know, me being, uh, you know, a good, fun, you know, loving metal since forever. Uh, we have the OzFest 10th Anniversary yeah, concert, which is so cool. Um, it's so cool. And it actually has both. Uh, it came with uh, the DVD there, along with the booklet and, of course, uh, the DVD itself there, but I think also it's a CD as well. Um, yeah, it's the live CD. <laughs> so, yeah, so there we go. It looks lo looks like loads of fun, and, you know, it's going to be awesome, you know, rocking out with that. All right, then up next, uh, well, add this to the Alfred Hitchcock collection. Uh, now, I don't have this particular edition of Psycho. Um, yeah, I said it, Psycho. <laughs> so... Um, now I think this actually may have a few things that may not be on other editions. I don't know. Um, either that or the menu is different. I can't really remember, but, uh, you know, this is part of the collector's edition series. It's, I think it's like one of the first original universal runs of Psycho, but, um, uh, great to have another edition of Psycho because I love that movie. Uh, but up next we have a movie that, uh, well, Quentin Tarantino, he didn't really you know, directed, but he kind of helped get this movie out there. Uh, so we have from the Dimension Extreme series, um, 
So this really cool, awesome biker movie <laughs> it sounded cool. It's called Hell Ride. Yeah, and it's got the slip cover on it. Yeah, it's a little bit beat up and whatnot, but uh, I'm like, yeah, kind of. I think it kind of goes with the charm of the movie. But uh, I can say it's got, um, you know, <laughs> oh, that's cool. Michael Madsen and Dennis Hopper are in this. I did not realize that. Sweet. Um, so then you know it's gonna be badass. So there we go. Looks awesome. Got that for a dollar too, by the way. <laughs> uh, then let's see here. Um, oh yes. Now this, I'm surprised. I got this thing for two bucks. I ha I don't know how I've never collected this, and I know that they don't really release it very much. But well, it was huge when it obviously when it came out. Well, it still is. But here we have a brand new sealed copy of Stranger Things Season 1. That is cool. I kid you not, $2 for this. This is awesome. I was, I've been looking for, around for, uh, for this for a while. I know they did the same thing with the second season, but I don't think they've ever released the third or the fourth seasons, as far as I know. Um, you know, but still, I know that this was a Target exclusive, and it's only been sold at Target, and if you can still find this, get it. Because it's Stranger Things, but I mean, why not? Uh, let's see here. What else? Uh, ah, then we'll get the crib to the crib here. Of uh, the last thing, this is probably the the best deal that I got. <laughs> so uh, you know, I'm kind of you know I've got some family members that are uh, steeped into older TV shows and whatnot, so they've kind of got me hooked on. Uh, some older shows that I've never even seen before. Now I know Will Ferrell kind of did a somewhat of a remake of this move of this series, but I've never seen the original series. And lo and behold, here we have Elizabeth Montgomery in the complete series of Bewitched. Yeah. Now I probably wondered how much was this thing. I kid you not. One dollar. <laughs> One dollar for the complete series. I'm like, dudes, are you serious right now? And it's all in there too. Cause I the thing that threw me off is that uh when I saw it, it was kind of laying like this when I saw it. I'm like, oh, okay. That looks like some VHS tapes or something. And kind of threw me off. So when I looked at it, I'm like, are you serious right now? The guy was like, Yeah, one dollar. I'm like, sweet. So there we go. Got some awesome TV. And it's all in there, too. All eight seasons. Alrighty, so then up next, uh, let's go through the video games, shall we? Uh, so we have um, one Xbox 360 game and two PS4 games. Yeah, so um, I've seen this kind of hitting around or whatever, but I know it's this one's a little bit harder to find for some more awkward reason. Um, or if it is, it goes for a lot of money. But here we have, on the 360, we got Street Fighter versus Tekken. Yeah. Um, I paid, was it, paid like uh, four bucks for this. So I'm like, oh, sweet. I can't beat that deal. No, I didn't pay $14.99 for it. That's actually got a, excuse me, that's got an old disc replay sticker on there. But I did come across, oh, God, what was it? Um, the Suffering, the Tie That Binds, The Thing. And uh, there was like one other game, but they all but they wanted like forty bucks a piece for it, and I'm like, I just can't shell out that amount for those games. So I looked elsewhere, but I did come across some other uh, games. I got for five bucks. We have Street Fighter Four, the arcade edition, or I'm sorry, Street uh, Street Fighter Five. Yeah, Street Fighter Five, not Street Fighter Four. Um, what can we say? Um, Five bucks, not bad at all. A PS4 console exclusive. So there we go. And then we also have to add to the Lego collection. We've got the Lego Marvel collection, which features three games that I was actually looking for individually. But they're all right here in this set. So there we go. It's awesome to get to have the Hulk and uh, Hulkbuster fight it out and whatnot. And so, yeah, there we go. Alrighty, and then uh, let's go for... Uh, let's go for the Funko Pops. Yeah, managed to find a few of them, which wasn't bad. Uh, let's see. Let me, let's yeah. All right, so first up, um, 
I paid only three bucks for this little guy, and uh, well, I didn't have him. Sadly, you know, no box or whatever. But I'm like, eh, it is what it is, because a lot of my Funko Pops that I got for Christmas obviously weren't had, the, had no boxes. But for three bucks, I got what can we say? One of the coolest video game characters of all time, the Blue Bomber himself, Mega Man. Yeah, that's awesome. For three bucks, why not? He's in really good shape. So there we go. And then, uh, let's see, up next, <laughs> this one apparently goes for some money, from what I understand, but I love this movie, and it's hard to track down the Blu-rays of them. I mean, the box is a little bit beat up, but that's okay, because uh, I only paid $5 for this, and other places, other booths, they were asking 30 35 maybe 40 bucks. But we have, from Starship Troopers, we've got Johnny Rico. Yeah, this is after he blows the giant bug up. And he's got all the uh, orange goop all over him. <laughs> so, but it's uh, kind of funny that it's a summer convention exclusive. And uh, I only paid five bucks for this. So, not a bad steal. And finally, I uh, got a new Star Wars one. Uh, this is a Walgreens exclusive, and I kid you not, one dollar, because that's what it says right here on the tag. We got Star Wars, The Legends, uh, Shadow Guard, as in basically it's a royal guard, but he's black instead of red. And I kid you not, one dollar, one dollar for that. And I'm like, that is awesome. Alrighty, and finally, let's get the books done. Yeah. Still found me a few books, you know, nothing too major. Um, mainly anywhere from a buck to uh, 50 cents. <laughs> uh, so first up, we have, still wrapped around in plastic, uh, we have the novelization of one of my favorite uh, Dirty Harry movies. Uh, we have Sudden Impact. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, by Joseph C. Stinson. And... Um, so yeah, uh, what can we say? That this is the one where uh, uh, Harry goes, "Go ahead, uh, listen, uh, make my day." So <laughs> that's the one where he also talks about how there's too much sugar in his coffee. <laughs> and then um, this, I'm surprised I found because uh, these I know were very hard to find. Um, so they're sold from Pinnacle Books, or rather the Target books, really. Um, uh, one of the original Doctor Who novels. Yeah, so here I have Doctor Who and the Dinosaur Invasion. Now, this is a fourth Doctor series, uh, Doctor book, and um, I've never, it's really hard to come across these because they go for either a lot of money or they're just very hard to find in very, very good condition. So, yeah. And then finally, uh, I mean, this book's a little bit beat up. I mean, I think I have it, but I don't have this particular edition. Um, so here we have the classic Mario Puzo novel, The Godfather. Now, the reason why I say I don't think I have this edition, as a matter of fact, I know I don't have the edition. this edition, is because I think this actually might be a... Let's see, I think it's the first printing of the uh, paperback, I think. Uh, let's see, 69. Um, let me know in the comments down below. But, uh, if you own a copy of this edition, and I think this is actually the first, uh, uh, one of the first, uh, paperbacks of it is because if you look down here at the bottom, it literally says right there, soon to be a major motion picture from Paramount. So this was one of the more, uh, you know, uh, this was released before the movie even came out. And look at that, a buck fifty for way back in the day. Now this thing probably would be a lot of money. I mean, sure, it's a little bit beat up and whatnot, but you know, though, hey, I couldn't complain for uh, for fifty cents. So there we go. And uh, that pretty much about does it. I mean, you know, uh, not a bad haul at all. You know, for you know, roughly about thirty, forty bucks or whatever. Not bad at all. Hi. All right. So with that, remember to like, subscribe, hit that notification button. And with that, I'll see you guys later.